Look at me. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Hey there, fellow comic book enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of superheroes and superpowers. We have a genuinely captivating topic, the remarkable anatomy of one of Marvel's most iconic heroes, the Invisible Woman. We all know her as the stylish and influential member of the Fantastic Four, but have you ever wondered how her incredible abilities work? Well, let's discuss the secrets behind the Invisible Woman's extraordinary physiology and the science behind her invisibility as well. However, before we get into our our explanation, we do have just one very small request. If you like our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is just one small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thanks. Now, let's begin. How did the Invisible Woman get her powers? We all know Sue Storm has a formidable force, capable of rendering herself and objects around her invisible with just a mere thought. But have you ever wondered how she acquired these incredible powers? Well, there's an intriguing backstory of the Invisible Woman that uncovers her remarkable powers origin. It all began with an extraordinary scientific expedition. Sue Storm, her younger brother Johnny, her boyfriend Reed Richards, and Reed's best friend Ben Grimm ventured into space on board an experimental spacecraft. Their mission? To study cosmic radiation and its potential applications. However, fate had something far more profound in store for them. As their spacecraft journeyed through the depths of space, it encountered a cosmic storm of unprecedented magnitude. Caught amid this disruption, their bodies were bombarded by a torrent of cosmic radiation, altering their genetic structure forever. Little did Sue Storm know that this cataclysmic event would awaken dormant powers within her, transforming her into a remarkable hero that we all know today. The cosmic radiation triggered a mutation in Sue's genetic makeup, unlocking her ability ability to manipulate light waves and harness cosmic energy. As a result, Sue discovered her newfound power to turn herself, others, and even objects invisible. Over time, Sue's abilities continued to evolve. She developed the capability to create force fields of immense strength and control them with precision. What sets Sue Storm apart from the other members of the Fantastic Four? Each team member gained unique powers from the cosmic storm. Reed Richards, also known as Mr. Fantastic, gained extraordinary elasticity. Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, could engulf himself in flames and Ben Grimm was transformed into the formidable thing. Sue Storm's powers, however, were truly remarkable. She could render herself and others invisible, and her force fields granted her and the team invaluable protection. She has repeatedly proven that she is a force to be reckoned with, using her power strategically to outsmart enemies and save the day. What is the real mystery behind her invisible powers? At first glance, Sue Storm's ability to become invisible might seem like a simple matter of bending light or harnessing advanced technology. However, the truth is far more complex and fascinating. The real mystery lies in cosmic radiation and its profound effects on Sue's physiology. While on the space expedition, they were bombarded by a cosmic storm, which forever altered their DNA. This transformative event awakened dormant powers within Sue, granting her the ability to control and manipulate light waves. But how does she accomplish this seemingly impossible feat? Well, scientists and theorists have speculated on various possibilities. Some propose that Sue's powers stem from her unique genetic makeup, allowing her to interact with and manipulate the electromagnetic spectrum in ways that we can only imagine. Others hypothesize that cosmic radiation triggered a latent mutation within Sue's genes, activating a previously untapped neurological pathway. This pathway enables her to project thought-controlled energy fields that interact with light, rendering her and objects around her invisible. However, the accurate scientific explanation behind Sue Storm's abilities remain a subject of intense speculation and ongoing research. We must remember that the world of comics often takes creative liberties, incorporating elements of both fantasy and imagination into the storylines that we all love. Nonetheless, exploring Sue Storm's abilities allow us to contemplate the wonders of science and the boundless potential of the human mind and body as well. It reminds us that sometimes the greatest mysteries are found within ourselves. <laughs> You are causing a scene. Is she able to see invisible objects as well? We now know that Sue Storm can be invisible, and how impactful she truly is. But what happens when she renders something else invisible? Can she actually see it? In the Marvel comics, the extent of Sue Storm's ability to see invisible objects is not explicitly defined, and can vary depending on the specific storyline or interpretation. Traditionally, Sue does possess a limited ability to perceive and see objects that she has rendered invisible. Her power allows her to manipulate light waves, bending and refracting them to make herself and other objects 
objects invisible to the naked eye. While in her hidden state, Sue can perceive these objects as translucent or transparent, maintaining an awareness of their presence and their location. It's important to note that the level of visibility may be limited, but the clarity or detail of the objects she sees may differ from when they are visible. Think of it as sort of a see-through vision, where she can detect the presence of invisible objects, but they may appear hazy or less distinct. In some instances, Sue Storm relies on her other senses or intuition to navigate and interact with the invisible world around her. She might use her heightened perception or her innate connection to the cosmic energy to sense the presence of objects or beings that are also rendered invisible. It's worth mentioning that comic book abilities can evolve and change over time. Likewise, different writers and artists may interpret and depict the invisible woman's powers differently. Therefore, the specifics of her powers to see invisible objects can vary depending on the comic book series or even the storyline that's being explored. Ultimately, the invisible woman's power to perceive invisible objects adds an intriguing layer to her character. It showcases her adaptability, her resourcefulness, and the unique challenges that she faces when dealing with a world that's both visible and invisible. Thus, the mystery surrounding her perception of the invisible realm continues to captivate fans and even leaves room for exploration in future comic book stories. Why do her eyes make no sense? If Sue's eyes are invisible, wouldn't that mean that light would pass right through them? If light passes right through her eyes, it wouldn't hit her retina, making vision impossible. Logically speaking, if her eyes can't interact with light, she won't be able to see when she's invisible. This apparent contradiction has been a topic of debate and speculation among comic book fans and scholars alike. Some argue that Sue's eyes, an extension of her body, possess the same abilities as the rest when she becomes invisible. Therefore, they suggest that her eyes adjust to interact with the light waves even in her hidden state. Others propose a more imaginative explanation, suggesting that Sue's perception of the world around her shifts to a different plane or sense altogether. In this theory, Sue must rely on her other substances, such as heightened hearing or extrasensory perception, to navigate and interact with her surroundings while invisible. Notably, comic book abilities often include suspending our disbelief and embracing the fantastical. While certain aspects of Sue's powers might not align with real-world physics or biology, they are a part of the imaginative universe that brings these characters to life. While the mechanics of Sue Storm's invisible eyes may seem perplexing, it is also essential to remember that books often prioritize storytelling and visual aesthetics over scientific accuracy. The focus is on the superhero narrative's thrill, drama, and adventure, rather than strictly adhering to scientific principles. What are her force field manipulation abilities? Sue can generate force fields of incredible strength and durability by tapping into the cosmic force. These energy constructs can vary in size and shape, adapting to suit her needs and her circumstances. Sue's force fields possess remarkable defensive capabilities, capable of withstanding powerful attacks from physical and energy-based sources. Whether deflecting bullets, repelling lasers, or blocking the devastating force of explosions, Sue's force fields provide her and her team unparalleled protection. Sue's force fields also grant her the ability Ability to manipulate her environment. She can shape and mold her force constructs, creating barriers, domes, or intricate shapes and objects. This versatility allows her to restrain opponents, develop platforms for transportation, or even capture things or entities. Sue's force fields have also been shown to possess offensive capabilities. She can use them to deliver powerful concussive blasts or to compress or crush objects within her energy constructs. This makes her a formidable force in both defensive and offensive positions. This level of mastery allows her to create intricate force field constructs and execute complex strategies during battle. It's important to note that Sue's force field manipulation abilities are not limited to defensive or even offensive purposes. She can also use her force fields for various practical applications. For example, she can create protective shields against hazardous environments, provide life support in sterile conditions, or even generate temporary structures for shelter and containment. The extent of Sue Storm's abilities showcases her exceptional skill, intelligence, and her adaptability as a superhero. Whether she's shielded building her team from harm, shaping the battlefield to her advantage, or finding creative solutions to complex problems, Sue's force fields are an integral part to her superhero identity. Back off. Susan, let's not fight. No, let's. <laughs> Why is she able to take down much stronger opponents? Sue is not just a powerful superhero, she is also a brilliant tactician. She possesses an exceptional level of intelligence and strategic insight, which she employs to analyze and exploit the weaknesses of her adversaries. She can create impenetrable barriers, restrain opponents, 
or deliver devastating energy blasts. Sue can anticipate and counteract her opponent's forces by combining her strategic thinking and versatile powers. She can create force fields that nullify the advantages of more vigorous opponents, using her barriers to deflect or absorb powerful attacks. This allows her to level the playing field and exploit openings to gain the upper hand in battle. Another aspect is her resourcefulness. She doesn't rely on her powers, but does use her surroundings and objects to her advantage. She can manipulate her force field to interact with her environment, creating obstacles or using them as projectiles. Projectiles. This resourcefulness adds another layer to her combat effectiveness and allows her to neutralize more vigorous opponents. Sue's expertise and growth as a superhero play a significant role in her ability to overcome formidable adversaries. Throughout her comic book history, she has faced numerous challenges and many opponents. These experiences have honed her skills, expanding her knowledge, and allowing her to develop effective strategies even against superior foes. How can the Invisible Woman terminate all life on Earth? While she is typically a hero and a defender of humanity, there have been a few instances in comic book storylines where Sue's powers have been pushed to the limits and the potential of catastrophic consequences arises. One such scenario involves the amplification of Sue's powers to an unprecedented level. If her abilities were enhanced beyond their normal limits, she could tap into an immense reserve of cosmic energy and manipulate it with catastrophic consequences. This could result in her having the capability to terminate all life on Earth. Earth. Sue's primary power, manipulating force fields, could become a double-edged sword if taken to its extreme. Initially intended for protection and defense, her force fields could be transformed into destructive energy constructs capable of devastating power. These force fields could be harnessed to generate violent shockwaves, devastating energy beams, or even cause massive upheavals in the Earth's structure. Sue's ability to turn herself and other objects invisible could be employed lethally. By rendering herself invisible globally, she could silently infiltrate critical infrastructure structures or positions of power, manipulating events from behind the scenes. This level of stealth and manipulation could disrupt global systems and lead to catastrophic consequences. However, such extreme scenarios are implausible and go against Sue Storm's character as a hero. Throughout her comic book history, Sue has always been portrayed as a compassionate and responsible individual, using her powers for the greater good and the protection of humanity. How durable is her shield? These translucent energy barriers are both a defensive shield and a versatile tool in Sue's arsenal. One of the most impressive aspects of Sue's force field shield is its extraordinary durability. Her force fields have been shown to withstand an astonishing amount of punishment, making them nearly impenetrable to various attacks. Whether it's physical blows, energy blasts, or even the impact of powerful explosions, Sue's force field shield has proven time and again to be an exceptional defense against formidable foes. The strength of Sue's force fields is a test to her control over cosmic energy. Her shields can withstand immense pressure, resist extreme temperatures, and endure intense energy-based assaults. What sets Sue's force shield apart is its adaptive nature. She can strengthen her shields when confronted with a powerful adversary to provide maximum protection. Conversely, she can maintain a lighter and more flexible defense when dealing with less complex situations. Another fascinating aspect of Sue's force field shield is its ability to regenerate and repair itself. If her shield is ever damaged in battle, it can rapidly heal and restore its integrity. This regeneration allows Sue to maintain a continuous and robust defense, even during prolonged conflicts. While Sue's force shield is incredibly durable, there are limits to its endurance. Her shields can be overcome or breached if the force exerted upon them surpasses a certain threshold. However, reaching that point does require an immense amount of power or a sustained and concentrated assault from a truly formidable opponent. Your balance is getting better. Is the Invisible Woman able to fly? The key to Sue's flight lies in her manipulation of force fields. By generating force fields around herself, she can create a platform of energy that allows her to levitate and move throughout the air. This gives her the appearance of flight and the freedom to traverse great distances quickly. It's important to note here that Sue's flight capabilities are slower and more agile than those of other superheroes, explicitly designed for aerial mobility, such as Superman or Iron Man. However, her ability to levitate and navigate the skies give her a significant advantage in combat and exploration. Sue's flight provides her with increased mobility and strategic positioning during battle. She can hover above the ground, gaining a broader perspective of the battlefield and using her vantage point to plan and coordinate with her teammates. This aerial advantage allows her to effectively deploy her force fields, shield her allies, or engage opponents from unexpected angles. Sue's flight also enhances her reconnaissance abilities. She can soar over vast distances, surveying her surroundings and gathering valuable information. This enables her to detect potential threats or 
or locate allies needing assistance, making her an invaluable asset in any critical situation. While Sue's flight capabilities primarily depend on her force field manipulation, she has also utilized other means to achieve temporary flight. In some instances, she has been shown using devices or vehicles specifically designed for aerial transportation, allowing her to travel at high speeds or in environments where her force field flight might be limited. Some writers may emphasize her flight abilities more prominently, while others choose to focus on different aspects of her power set. What happened when the Invisible Woman was temporarily transformed into the Hulk? The event that led to Sue's transformation into the Hulk-like entity occurred when she was exposed to a unique combination of gamma radiation and cosmic energy. This convergence of energies altered Sue's physiology, turning her into a green-skinned superhuman powerhouse like the Hulk. Sue's strength and durability were amplified to staggering levels. With her newfound Hulk-like abilities, she became capable of lifting immense objects, smashing through obstacles, and even withstanding formidable attacks. Her force fields, already powerful enough on their own, merged with her Hulk-like form, creating an impenetrable defense that made her nearly invulnerable. Sue's transformation into the Hulk unleashed a surge of raw, unbridled power within her. She possessed the potential to unleash devastating physical force, causing shockwaves and wreaking havoc on her surroundings. Her newfound strength and aggression allowed her to engage in intense battles against some of the most powerful adversaries in the Marvel Universe. What made Sue's transformation genuinely unique was the preservation of her intelligence and her tactical prowess. Unlike the traditional Hulk, she retained her strategic thinking and rationality, allowing her to harness her immense power effectively. This combination of strength, intellect, and tactical understanding made her an even more formidable opponent. Sue's transformation into a Hulk-like entity was temporary, and she eventually reverted back to her standard form. While she experienced the overwhelming power and unleashed it with great force, she did regain control and found a way to restore herself to her original state. What additional powers did the Invisible Woman achieve after getting the Power Cosmic from Galactus? When Sue received the Power Cosmic, her powers skyrocketed to an entirely new level. Infusing this cosmic energy enhanced her existing abilities and granted her awe-inspiring new powers. Firstly, she gained the ability to manipulate cosmic energy in ways that surpassed her previous capabilities. She could harness this energy to unleash devastating energy blasts, possibly disintegrating matter or obliterating opponents with incredible force. These energy beams could be projected from her hands or channeled through her force fields, making her an even more versatile and potent combatant. In addition to her augmented offensive capabilities, Sue's control over force fields reached unparalleled heights. Her force fields became even more resilient and impenetrable, capable of withstanding the most potent attacks and providing enhanced protection to herself and her allies. She could now generate force fields of colossal size, covering vast areas or enveloping entire structures, making her a force to be reckoned with in any battle. She could now easily traverse the depths of space Space, soaring through galaxies and exploring the cosmos like never before. Her flight capabilities became faster and more agile, allowing her to travel incredible distances instantly. The power cosmic also heightened Sue's already impressive mental abilities. She gained enhanced telepathic powers, enabling her to delve into the minds of others, communicating telepathically, and even exert cognitive control over her adversaries. This mental prowess gave her a significant advantage in combat and strategic situations. Can the Invisible Woman Have Kids? Exploring Her Troubled Motherhood In the comic book storyline, Sue and her husband, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, longed to start a family. However, they faced significant obstacles due to Sue's powers and the potential risks involved in her pregnancy. Sue's ability to turn invisible and manipulate force fields posed a potential danger for her unborn child. Her force fields, while protective, could inadvertently harm the developing fetus. This led to a series of heartbreaking decisions and uncertainty for Sue and Reed. In one storyline, Sue faced a complicated and high-risk pregnancy. The stress and anxiety of her powers potentially affected her unborn child, weighing heavily on her. It showcased the emotional struggles and the sacrifices she endured as a superhero and a woman wanting to experience the joys of motherhood. Despite the challenges, Sue eventually gave birth to her first child, a son named Franklin. However, even after becoming a mother, Sue's troubles continued. Franklin inherited incredible powers from his parents, making him a target for various villains and entities seeking to exploit his powers. Sue's role as a mother became a constant balancing act between protecting her child and allowing him to explore and grow into his powers. This struggle only added depth to Sue's character, as she faced the challenges of raising a superpowered child in a world of danger and uncertainty. Over the years, Sue's motherhood journey has been portrayed in different storylines, exploring the complexities of her relationship with her children and the difficulties of balancing her responsibilities as a superhero and as a parent. You must hold. 
He will burn himself out. How can the Invisible Woman be defeated? Susan Storm, also known as the Invisible Woman, possesses incredible powers that make her a formidable force. Nonetheless, like any other superhero, she does have her vulnerabilities and her weaknesses. One way to potentially defeat the Invisible Woman is by exploiting her reliance on her force fields. While her force fields are incredibly powerful and versatile, they do have their limitations. Overwhelming Sue with relentless and sustainable attacks could eventually exhaust her, causing her force fields to weaken or even collapse altogether under the immense pressure. Another Another tactic is to disrupt Sue's concentration. The stability and strength of her force fields depend primarily on her focus and her mental state. By employing distractions such as sensory overload or mental manipulation, adversaries can disrupt her ability to maintain her force fields effectively, leaving her vulnerable to attacks. Sue's invisibility, on the other hand, can be countered using technologies or capabilities to detect her presence. Specialized equipment or superhuman senses that bypass her invisibility can level the playing field, making her more susceptible to physical and energy-based attacks. Teamwork can also be a crucial factor in defeating the Invisible Woman. Facing her alone may prove challenging, given her extensive powers and strategic thinking. However, coordinated attacks from multiple opponents, using a combination of different abilities and tactics, can increase the chances of overwhelming her defenses. The outcome of battles and conflicts in comic books often depends on the specific storyline, creative interpretations, and the plot's requirements. Writers may introduce unforeseen elements or unique circumstances that influence the outcome, further adding to the unpredictability of Sue's defeat. And there you have it for all our fellow comic book enthusiasts and curious minds. We have reached the end of our exploration into the anatomy of the Invisible Woman. Throughout our journey, we have uncovered the fascinating intricacies of Sue Storm's powers and abilities. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all superhero-related content. Until next time, I'm Rylan. Have a good one, and be safe.